Okay. You ready to do this? Uh, uh, mm, uh. Mm, ah, ba, dee, ba, uh, da, ba, ba, dee, ba. Ah, ba, ba, dee, ba, da, ba. Ba, ba, da, ba. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I guess that's our testing phase. I guess it can be. You know, we always try to make numbers out of things. And you got upset because there was no numbers last week. Goodness, I'm just not satisfied. All right. Are you happy now? Because I'm happy. (laughs) Okay, Pharrell? Yeah, let's go. All right, let's do this. Welcome to We'll We'll Figure It Out. Out. This week on We'll Figure It Out, we're at another episode of We're Gonna Figure It Out. (laughs) (laughs) So, life has been crazy. If you have not listened to last week's episode, um, I highly encourage you to go and go back and listen to that first because it will kind of clue you into what's going on and we're going to kind of be updating you on what's going on in our life so i don't want you to feel left out so head on over to last week's episode go ahead get caught up and then come back on that note for those of you who did listen to our episode last week we still have chaos We still have bathroom renovation going on. I still don't have all the answers about my health. So we're going to give you some updates on that. Do do you agree on this format of in topic? Well, I mean, there's not much for me to disagree on. Do you have anything of importance you want to talk about? Well, I never talk about politics. I try not to talk about religion. Yeah, nothing right now. (laughs) Nothing nothing that pops in my head right now. (laughs) (laughs) I have been in full-on bathroom mode this entire weekend. (laughs) He has. He has been been doing a great job of getting stuff done. Um, For those of you who may be joining and you aren't going back to listen to anything, (laughs) I will kind of just give you a rundown of where we're at right now. I have been dealing with some health issues and have not been able to help as much as I want to, but I have been trying to help in other areas so that he is free to do the bathroom and focus on that, even though I can't really help a whole lot i try to help where i can but then also do some stuff around the house and you may be hearing fireworks in the background because tonight is july 4th the night of our recording so happy fourth of july happy birthday america america i don't like saying america well i just think it's kind of funny when people do it because there's a response that goes behind it but that can't say on family programming. I don't I don't know if I've ever heard it. There's a whole video about it. Oh. So, yeah. It's probably on that YouTube's thing. It probably is. <laughs> but I'm sure somebody out there is listening after I say America, they're saying something in their head at least. I guess I'm going to have to go look up that video so I can be in the know cuz I've just heard people say it that, you know, out of fun, f- making fun of, like, people who are rednecks. I guess, I guess since we can, you know, we'll elaborate on, like, you know, I think it was last week or weeks before commentaries about fuddles. <laughs> so it would be, America, fud yeah. Oh. <laughs> gotcha. A fuddle yeah? Yeah, yeah fuddle yeah. <laughs> America. So, I feel like my brain is still in a muddle fuddle. (laughs) Here we go. (laughs) Um, 
So, yeah. I can just hear Samuel L. Jackson going off with that one. <laughs> I feel like I'm channeling my inner Dr. Zeus when I'm <laughs> rhyming muddle, fuddle, puddle. Because <laughs> that was the, I had an image of a Dr. Zeus book in my head when I was saying that last week. So, yeah. But it can be taken so wrong. <laughs> but it feels so right. <laughs> the look on his face. If muddle fuddling is wrong, you don't want to be right, huh? <laughs> exactly. All right. <laughs> Tangent, we have gone on. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Back to the topic at hand, which is not really a topic at all. <laughs> We're right. getting there, folks. We're getting there. <laughs> yes, we'll we'll eventually get there. We always come around, you know, and, and, and get to the, the topic. It may take us, you know, five, ten minutes, but we, we'll get there. We'll get there. So, let's see. Update on health. I had an ultrasound on Thursday, and the report stated that I have gallstones and possibly fatty liver, which it needed to be confirmed with something or other blah 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 um so i was waiting for my doctor to respond to the test results to confirm or deny or say well maybe it is maybe it isn't um but i definitely have gallstones and i definitely need to change my diet and i need to try to get some type of exercise in because i have been laid up in pain or without any energy for months and so I need to try my best to get myself out there and exercise. So I don't know what the plan is yet based on the findings of the ultrasound. I'm guessing she may have been off for 4th of July weekend or whatever. So hopefully the doctor will message me tomorrow Monday. And if I do get an update, I'll try to remember to record a clip at the end to tell you what the doctor said if I get an answer before this goes live on hopefully Thursday. So do you do you want to inform our confused audience? <laughs> I, I call you my confused audience because we're all supposed to be figuring this out. So if you're listening, you're probably a confused person in trying to figure it out, right? <laughs> well, I'm not quite sure if this episode is too much on the way of figuring things out. <laughs> well, once we get an update of what's going on since last recording, I think we may be able to figure a few things out. I have some ideas. Okay. So, why don't you give them an update on the bathroom? Because you know more about what's going on with that than I do. Oh, it's a mess. But it's less of a mess now than it was previously. I'm, we're finally on the rebound from it. It is no longer under destruction phase. That's because you vacuumed. That's why it's less of a mess. <laughs> I swept in there several times too, but it was still a mess when I did that. Because sweeping doesn't always get it all. You got a vacuum. <laughs> yes. Well, we are we are to a point where we're starting the reassembly process, uh, which seems to be easier on me, just because I guess it's motivationally, you know, I see progress, and therefore it's easier for me to work on it. When I don't see progress, when I see the reverse of progress, it is very uh, disenchanting. And so it's harder for me to motivate to get things done. So we started putting up sheetrock finally yesterday. And that made all the difference in the world. Yes, it did. Because uh, we actually got that progress pretty quick yesterday. Because we didn't start until about 3, 3.30 actually putting stuff in. Yeah, I think the first, um, the first sheetrock sheet went up right before I had to go get Samuel. Right. So, and he got off of work at 4. So, yeah, 
approximately 3.30 is when it went up. But you were working on it prior to that because you had to cut out a bunch of stuff. Yeah, well, I spent way too much time at the hardware store yesterday. Always. Uh, which compounded with the torrential rain. <laughs> Always. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't help out any. In fact, it was raining so bad yesterday that I wound up not unloading the stuff out of the car until today. Uh. <laughs> yes, and we had a few hours this morning where it was not raining, and I decided to get out there and cut the front yard because it was bad, and I didn't want to wait for Jonathan to wake up because I don't think he went to bed till like 7 o'clock this morning. Oh, wow. Yeah. He's the, he's the one that set off the alarm this morning. That woke me up about 6.30 because he said something plastic fell off the counter. And so it set off the glass break. And I said, oh, well, I guess, you know, plastic does it too, not mm -hmm. just glass. Or silverware. If you have a glass break in your house, watch out for that silverware. If it's armed, it'll go <laughs> off. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that was one of the other dilemmas I think that took up some time yesterday was the fact that since it was raining... The sheetrock that I had to work with is in the garage. And in order to get it into the house from the garage, the quickest wet method is out the garage door and through the front door. Well, with it storming like it was, there's no way I could carry out, out the sheetrock without it getting wet. So we had to go through the garage door into the kitchen, into the dining room, and finagle it around from the dining room into the living room then open the front door march it out onto the front patio uh, or front patio, front porch patio <laughs> then up the stairs <laughs> which the stairs are right there at the front door yeah if the door was any wider it would hit our our stairs so it just makes for difficulty maneuvering things upstairs from inside so yeah, that 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 was a challenge. But we we made it happen like mm -hmm. we always do. So um so I think by the end of the day you had most of the sheetrock up on the walls, right? I had the About half of it. I had the ceiling done. Mm -hmm. And I had the west wall done or Sam's wall. The okay. the one backing up to Sam's room. Okay. And then this morning I did the north wall with the door. Mm -hmm. uh, and the and east then, wall behind the door. And the east wall behind the door. Yeah, but the back of Noah's closet. So that right. that got done. Um, which, I mean, that the wall with the door only took one sheet of sheetrock to do. So it's just under five feet wide which left three feet of sheetrock and the section between the wall and the door is 32 inches oh wow <laughs> <So>. cool <laughs> and then noah's wall the noah's closet wall backing is 28 inches wide so that didn't even use a whole sheet of sheetrock so we're gonna have some, some leftover. extra leftover sheetrock so future laundry room <laughs> hey no <laughs> doubt that that laundry room is going to need some sheetrock for sure yeah so what happened so i i went up to the bathroom to check on him at one point and we had some of the wh what do you call that it's not the subfloor because it's what the subfloor sits on it, it is technically the subfloor it is the 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 original decking okay decking the floor. okay so the decking was cut out haphazardly around the and it's cast iron pipe or yeah it's cast iron pipe under there and so part of it was buckling up so what did you wind up doing with that did you cut it out like i had told you or i, I had cut some of that out to relieve pressure off of the the wood and then sanded down some and it was actually pliable enough when the osb laid on it that it it, it, put, went, it down. went down. So did my method work, or did you have to do something else? The I had to do the additional sanding. I did because even with putting the pressure down initially, it was still 
a little bit more than I like. So, and with I didn't want to cut any more of the wood out. All right, let's get a little bit of story about the 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 cutting of the wood <laughs> to begin with. Okay. So, apparently the way this house was built was they put everything together, laid the decking out and everything in the bathroom, and then the plumbers came in. <laughs> and, and laid all the pipe in there because or at least this is my guess on it because this is the, how it appears is that they had cut the decking and removed it to do the drainage for the pipes for, for, for the tub for the tub across that goes across the bathroom to the main stack and then laid the decking back over it and realized oh these pipes are sitting too high they're hitting the decking and so they chopped sections of the deck to clear the flanges in the cast iron pipe in doing so it put pressure on the bottom of the decking which caused it to push upward now, this is something that we didn't know because it had a two-inch bed of mortar that was poured over this. Mm-hmm. Now, I can tell you with 100% certainty that this decking was being pushed upward and poking upward since the day the house was built. <laughs> because otherwise, if this was was flexing upward it would have been cracking the floor in the bathroom right right but the fact that the cast iron pipe is resting on the notches that were cut out in mm -hmm. the uh the joists and they didn't even i mean like if they would have just cut it out a little bit more or accurately it would have been fine there was a couple sections where it was cut out correctly and I'll go back to my statement that I have said multiple times. I do believe there was acid involved in doing this bathroom. Like people were tripping on acid when they designed it and. And built it. And built it. Mostly built it. Yeah. The design probably had no problems. It was the execution of the design. Had a little help from mm -hmm. some nice drugs or something. So... Or lazy people. Who knows? <laughs> So the solution to to this upward poking sections of two by six that were haphazardly cut and all that was basically to relieve the pressure on the flanges of the pipe and allow the two by sixes to start to flex back downward. But they've been they've had this pressure pushed up on them for fifty plus years. So they've pretty much taken the shape of this little bowing that happened. Right. So I relieved the pressure from it, but then I also sanded it down some so that it wouldn't be as much downward pressure that we're putting back on it when we laid the OSB over it. Okay. So, I mean, right now you step on that section of OSB that I laid in there and you can't even tell that so it's it's pulled it down pretty well oh, that was the other thing is okay so i had the sheetrock <laughs> finished on those walls and i meticulously planned out and cut out the sheet of osb subfloor that i'm putting in on that half of the bathroom <laughs> which planning out okay the the the, the bathroom itself is less than eight feet wide and less than eight feet deep <laughs> so you're you're talking you're using two sheets of osb and gonna have lots of scraps left over for this thing yeah uh so the first half that i did or the first sheet that i used was for the left half which is the one that goes into the alcove for the bathtub and everything um, and so I've got a cut out for going around the little section of the alcove that juts out, then back in to meet up to Noah's closet area 
then back out <laughs> under the door. Okay, so if you have absolutely no concept of what this looks like, there is a YouTube video. <laughs> <laughs> I have completed our first um, series of the videos for the bathroom remodel. It will be posted Monday. If you haven't seen it already, you can go over to the YouTube channel, Mama Boys Nola, and you can get a visual of kind of what we're talking about. And because um, I'm a visual person, I can't think of these things in my brain by it being described to me. I know some people can, but there were several things that he was talking to me about today. And I'm like, I can't understand it. I have to see it. And so, like, one of the times I went up there and he was explaining it to me again while I was in the bathroom looking at the thing. And I'm like, oh, now I get it. Because I just had to visualize it in my head with a reference. So, I don't know if that's an ADHD thing. If if you are a person that also has ADHD and you have this problem, I would like to know if it's an ADHD thing or if it's just the way my brain works. I would be interested to know <laughs> so yeah so that's where i was with it i got that osb laid down glued and screwed down uh, of course realizing <laughs> when i went to go put the osb down now i already had some two and a half inch screws i thought for certain when i went and bought the other screws to lay the decking down that i had bought more of the two and a half inch screws I bought a bunch of one and a quarters thinking uh, I think at that point in time I was thinking about oh I need these to screw them down to the decking I needed more screws to be able to screw them down to the joist too so that was my stopping point because it was what about 630 when I realized this in both the big box st stores close at 8 o'clock on Sunday and I'm like, yeah, I'm not running over there right now. Right. And um, so how many runs did you do to the Home Depot today? I did two today. Did there go, could have been a have, third. Did you have to go to Lowe's today? Not today. Lowe's I did yesterday. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, yeah, whenever there seems to be a project that happens, uh, like last year, I started on the garage, uh, not remodel, but redo when I replaced all the sheetrock and stuff and ran the... It was basically a power, remodel, the, <laughs> a the, half remodel. Ran the, the, the power properly um, and all that. I think I spent the, at least once a day for that week, I was at Lowe's. I wonder if we made a material list, if it would cut down on the runs back and forth. The difficulty with it is, is with this house. Mm, yeah, sometimes you don't know what you're getting into and what you'll need to fix it. Right, like, okay, when it comes to all the plumbing issues and stuff like that, when I'm trying to do the, the plumbing in there, it's I kind of have to do it a, as a on-the-spot decision okay this is what we're going to need because as far as redoing the drain for the tub since we're going with the 32 inch tub versus the 29 or 30 that was in there mm -hmm. you know i don't want to jump and buy all the drainage stuff that i might need until i'm able to get the tub in and see what fittings i'm going to need to get for that just like, okay, I'm sitting there tonight looking over all the stuff for the the shower valve and everything. I have the dimensions that I need for the rough end for it. But until we can set up the tub in there and be certain. And make sure that we have it centered on the tub and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Right. Because I, I know I need to set it at 15 and a half inch off the wall. And according to the manufacturer of the shower valve, it needs to be 30 inches off the floor. And then from there, the spigot needs to be 8 inches down from there. But I'm questioning some of that measurement because the tub height's 21 inches. 
So eight inches from the spigot point drops us down to right at the edge of the tub in the surround. Well, most spigots are very close to the the ledge of the tub from my recollection of all tubs I've been in. Yeah, but if I if I put it out at that eight inch specification, then the the spigot, the actual the the bezel for the spigot is gonna be Oh, it would have to it would have to be cut to actually fit, basically. Right. So oh, okay. I I wanna I wanna eyeball once we get the tub set up in there and make sure that's how I wanna or where I wanna put it. Because I can probably go higher up than the thirty inches are saying off the floor. But I just wanna be certain of where we're gonna wind up sticking it and aesthetically pleasing it's gonna be and all this stuff. You know, plumbing is not my forte, <laughs> so... Right, it's not something that you do normally. So anyway, yeah, so plumbing is not my forte, so I might be overthinking some of it when I'm thinking about it, but... The other thing is you kind of have to see it visually to make sure that it's going to line up right, which I totally understand that being a visual person, so... Right, because I mean, I don't want to see the the tub have the drain and the overflow in one spot, and then the spigot and the handle is four inches over to the right of that. <laughs> yeah, you know? that's not gonna work. <laughs> <laughs> I would hate to ruin a perfectly good surround that we spent three hours tracking down. <laughs> yeah, I believe that is. It for oh the the last thing that we were talking about last week was me cooking more and the fact that you spent last Sunday pre cooking for this week so that I could what should I call it handle that blood I milk. could handle I could <laughs> handle dinners most nights which I believe. Thursday, it was a fend for yourself night because I had that ultrasound in the evening, and you and I wound up going out to eat after it because I was I had to had, I had to fast for it and I was like getting low blood sugar after it, so I was like I need to eat. She was getting hangry. Yeah, probably. And <laughs> um, <laughs> then on Friday did. Colin wind up cooking again on Friday? Um, no. The fish? Col Colin f did the fish last night. Last night, right. It's Friday. I think, well, heck, I don't remember now. Oh, we did the pork roast that was in the freezer. Yes, leftover pork roast in the freezer. Yeah. So I, um, and I think you wound up doing that because I was in the... Oh, I went over to my sister's. Did I do do that on Friday? No, oh, I did that did on that Saturday. did that last night. did that last night. What did I do Friday? I don't know. I think I had to work. No. You did something or other. Yeah, I was busy doing something, so... Oh, I had a meeting in the evening that I had to get prepared for. Was well, that Friday? Oh, that's right. That was Friday. Because Friday is the... Yeah, Friday is when I wound up doing the insulation. We got the insulation up Friday. Right, and, and I was in the middle of something. And I'm like, wait, when you do that, come and get me. <laughs> and I had to be like, hold on, I gotta go record something real quick. <laughs> so there was a lot of back and forth for me on Friday. And then evening. And then... You did handle up on dinner that night, and then um, tonight I reheated the chicken that you cooked last s Sunday, Sunday, and I cooked some noodles to go with it, So, which worked out really good for me because it's just, um, like I said, it's overwhelming to me to handle the whole entire cooking process from beginning to end. I can do much better with heat, heating up things and then adding to it. So, and then I forgot about vegetables and I had to throw those in at the last minute. So, good thing we have steamable 
<laughs> vegetables yeah. in the freezer. It's a lifesaver. <laughs> so I always forget, like, I'm like, okay, um, I usually focus on the main dish. And then I'm like, oh, I forgot to get sides. Uh, you know, previously I used to always use canned vegetables. Yeah, I don't do canned vegetables. They're not all that bad. I just, I don't know. I think my, my mom has, like, made me have a, an aversion to it. So I prefer fresh or frozen. I prefer fresh, but I'll take frozen. So. Okay, so I think that is up, it for the updates. So guess what we're figuring out again? More bathroom stuff. <laughs> mm, time management. Okay, so... Well, we're doing the preparations tonight already for what's going to last us. I think we usually get about six weeks out of a batch of red beans. A double batch of two pounds each. So four pounds of kidney beans. Yes, plus all the other fixings. Eight pounds of sausage. <laughs> Not quite eight pounds. <laughs> well, maybe. <laughs> I think it's like six pounds. <laughs> six, yeah, six pounds of sausage. <laughs> <clears throat> but yeah, we do two uh, six-quart crock pots of red beans. Uh, because, you know, southeast Louisiana, Monday's red beans. It's a tradition in the New Orleans area or southeast Louisiana to cook red beans on Mondays, which used to be laundry day. So you would put the red beans on the stove, you soak them overnight, then you cook them all day, and then at dinner time, right before dinner, you throw in some sausage, then you got cook some cornbread, and you got clean laundry and dinner. So um, I actually have a YouTube video if you would like to learn to cook red beans, I kind of put a little, uh, I, everybody does beans differently, you know, minor mm. sausage and lots and lots of sausage because I have boys and they need protein to fill up, but I know beans are protein too, but beans just don't hold them over if there's no sausage in it. So the, and the way we do red beans is kind of a mixture of how... She did red beans, and I did red beans, and we kind of threw it all together, and this is how we do red beans now. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> it's like, I like it this way. I like it this way. Okay, well, I can deal with this. You can deal with that. All right, let's do it. So, um, yeah, but uh, I'll actually put a link to the red beans video in the show notes, so if you would like to go see it, it'll be easy. And then... We have enough taco, and it's in the freezer, which we need to take that out tonight before we go to bed. Did you take out the roast? I did not. I meant to ask you to do that because I didn't know where to locate it. Uh, garage fridge. Because the fridge, really? Yes. It's in the fridge? No, but that's where we need to... Uh, oh, you mean to put it? To take it out or of the freezer. I didn't know where to locate it in the freezer currently. Top shelf. Uh, the top shelf item. Yes, that's a top shelf item. Most of the frozen meats I keep up there. Oh, okay. With the All exception right. of the chicken, which is in a bag, which is in the bottom. Right, because it's in a bag. Right. All but, right, uh, so I will take out the roast tonight and the taco and put it in the back fridge. Okay, so we have Monday and Tuesday dinners figured out. Colin cooks on Wednesday. Thursday is supposed to be stir-fry because we've had stir-fry on the menu for like three weeks and we wind up not doing it <laughs> and are we doing the shrimp stir fry is that what we're doing i do have shrimp okay i had bought two pounds of shrimp okay for doing stir fry um tuesday evening i have another meeting in the evening but it probably won't be until eight or nine so if i can set up my stuff after this where I need it for Tuesday, then I won't have to do a whole lot of setup on Tuesday. And then I'll just have to come up here when that meeting is ready to be started. Okay. And then Wednesday, 
Let me see. I need to I need to get out my calendar. Remember I was telling you I have a calendar and I can't remember what I'm doing unless I look at my calendar. Let's let's pull out the calendar and see what I've got on the agenda this week. Get it all open, my phone. My phone does not want to respond. Oh, Wednesday night we have the Explorers program for Sam. Okay. Uh well again that's that's a Colin night. Right. Okay, so you're good. Um, Thursday, I have a 6 p.m. appointment. Thursday, stir fry. Easy enough. And then Friday, I have off. I uh, Because that's my... Oh, that's right. You have the off day. And that's Friday is supposed to be our friend for yourself night? Yes, it is. Sandwiches? We can do that. We haven't done that in a couple weeks. I'll just have to go to the store before I get Noah from camp. Right, no, it and does not like going to the store with me. Well, you know, a lot of people don't lot, like a lot of things, but they got to do it when they got to do it. Speaking of people not wanting to go to the store, there's a video about that too. <laughs> that video is old news. It is. It's like three, four. No, it's like four, it's four about and a half four years old. About four years old. Um, four and a half years old. So yeah be funny if samuel flopped himself on the the ground at the store <laughs> his age right now <laughs> uh, he would do it you know he probably would <laughs> i would not put it past him he'd probably lick it too oh my god you're right he'd say it needs salt <laughs> <laughs> okay so we have dinners figured out for this week we have appointments tracked on the calendar managing our chaos again we have a plan for who's doing what and when what is your plan for the bathroom this week work 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 until it's done and then work 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 okay and then go to work and then work 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 yeah um so tomorrow i need to go get the other screws that i need there was something else in my head that i was thinking of getting but i'll probably remember it later uh and <laughs> you need to start a material list a material list it, it it has to happen as it goes on this thing but then if you had a piece of paper to write down when you think about it, then you wouldn't forget it. I have paper all over the place. But did you write it down? No. <laughs> okay. Case in point. Now you forgot. You can even be like walk in to the dining room and be like, hey, giggle. Add that this. That's no good for me. Why not? It doesn't. I don't have access to the giggle stuff. I need to see if I can. I'm. I'm gonna put this thing on your phone, and I'm gonna give you access to it. I. I. I, I can see it on my Google Home thing, but I can't like access the lists that are put in your Google account. But you could be like, "Hey, giggle, what's on my shopping list?" And then it would tell you. I don't like talking to inanimate objects. I do that all day long at work. I call cars lots of things. <laughs> <laughs> they never respond. And I'm good with that. But it's when I talk to things that respond that I have a problem. <laughs> oh, I gotcha. <laughs> you can talk to it as long as it doesn't talk back. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? The... The I laughed, she laughed, the toaster laughed, I shot the toaster. There was a meme about that somewhere at some point in time. Oh, no, you know, I don't about remember About all the smart that. devices and oh, stuff. Oh, yeah. yeah. Somebody else had, uh, who works in the IT field, uh, the only smart device they have in their house is a printer, and if it makes any funny noises, he's prepared to shoot it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I get it, I get it. Yeah. So, I mean, I can set you up with access to it if you would like me to. If 
that would be helpful to you. I mean, I suppose, because Johnny always puts things on the shopping list and I will never know about it, but he's been good about adding it to the, the, the dock. Yes, he has been using the dock because I started doing the dock and when I started doing the online shopping, I'm like, wait, that wasn't there. Wait, that's new. Oh, I guess Jonathan added stuff. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Um, Noah was very helpful to me. To He kept running back and forth to the refrigerator and the pantry to tell me what we had. So I didn't have to keep getting up. <laughs> <laughs> so he did a good job helping. Thank you, Noah. You did a good job. There's one thing I can say is Dee probably can't wait for me to have this bathroom finished so that I can go back to doing all the shopping and the grocery stuff. And <laughs> oh, speaking of that, I did want to ask you, because we mentioned it on our last episode about the Walmart thing, the scan and go, and I did look into it, and you can sign up for Walmart Plus, because, you know, Walmart has to be like everybody else and have a plus, right? I don't understand this whole Discovery Plus, Disney Plus, Walmart Plus. That didn't work all that well for Google. Google Plus was horrible. Yeah, it did. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, that was terrible. Just what I always wanted, another social media account. <laughs> uh -uh. I'm telling you, there's enough. Okay, so I found out that you can do it for twelve ninety nine a month, and you get free delivery instead of having to pay a delivery fee and which is 7.99 for or to 9.99 depending on what time you choose. I always choose the 7.99 time. And then um you also can do scan and go. And one of my cow friends, Moo, she said that she did that this past weekend and she just scanned the stuff as she put it in her cart and then she went to the self checkout and there was a QR code that you scan mm -hmm. and then you check out and you leave and she said it was pretty handy dandy like Steve's notebook you just figured out Blue's Clues I did <laughs> <laughs> who knew that Walmart Plus would circle back to Blue's Clues Better than going back to Google Plus. I mean, that's almost that's worse than going back to MySpace at this point. Hey, MySpace was pretty cool. That's why I'm saying it would be worse than going back to MySpace because MySpace was actually cool. I really liked customizing my page. That all was the fun. different colors and the bling and you know and being able to choose your top eight friends so that everybody else that was on your friends could be like. He doesn't like me as much, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Tom was always there for me. <laughs> really? <laughs> oh my goodness. Where were we, what were we, oh, so Walmart Plus. I am thinking that if we sign up for a month and just try out the scan and go option... I would not be opposed to either doing it myself or going with you and doing it together. I have a ton of grocery shopping bags that we'll, we can just put in the cart, open them up, and we can actually bag our groceries according to how we like them bagged. <laughs> Funny, right? And I, I'm thinking we might need to baskets depending on how big of a grocery shopping trip we're doing well considering the last couple of times i went to walmart i had to use the self-checkout stuff yeah you know it was all bagged the way that i yeah you got to bag it. it it's just it's just a pain it's a hassle i'm sorry i mean it's kind of like taking out one step though because you're scanning the stuff as you get it off the shelf and put it in your bag so, it's probably going to cut off 45 minutes to your trip because you're not standing in line and then scanning all of your stuff. You've already scanned it. So, it's like killing two birds with one stone. So, I think it's worth a try for $12.99 a month. And if it doesn't work out and you hate it, then we don't have to do it. 
and then if we like it then we can sign up for the year and that's eight I think 89 or 98 dollars or something like that so it's basically equivalent to you know Amazon Prime mm, Amazon Prime's 129 dollars oh yeah it went up so it's cheaper than Amazon Prime so basically for the price of what we would spend on school that we pause during the summer it's kind of like in our budget already <laughs> she forgets that we directed the money that we paused you're right we did <laughs> darn it well i think we have you know enough wiggle room to take 89 dollars out of the budget not this month yeah, maybe this, this month we need to figure out probably next week <laughs> what we're taking out of savings for this bathroom because we're gonna have to move money out of savings this time and that is why we have the sinking fund designated for renovations because we knew this was coming and we were gonna have to spend some money and the fact that we haven't had to move money yet means that we're just doing a pretty darn good job of budgeting and cutting cost where we can and it's not going to cost us as much savings as we initially thought because we've been able to float it some. But I did have some overtime and I can probably get some overtime again if I can buckle down and do it. So, nope, can't get it this week because I'm having a day off. So, but I could get extra hours and get paid for more than 40 hours. So, depends. Yes. Uh, we're doing podcast, but we're almost done. You can come hang out if you can sit still. But you have to finish chewing, too. That was the first interruption we've had, and we're almost done. Wow! Right? Knock, knock. Who's there? The interrupting cow. Interrupting Moo. cow. <laughs> There's mooing again in this episode. <laughs> I can officially say there were no song references this episode. Um, I think there was. What? I think I made a song reference. Uh oh. Did I not catch it? No, you caught it. Maybe oh, maybe I'm just that worn out. I think you are. <laughs> you have been burning your candle at both ends. And um, I really, I, I want to tell you that I really appreciate all your hard work on the bathroom. Yes, and I appreciate your help allowing me to do the, all the hard work on the bathroom. You're welcome. Uh, speaking of the hard work I've been doing, I forgot to get our laundry upstairs and I did not fold the non-work clothes. But I will. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were going to say muddle fuddle. <laughs> No, that's your word. <laughs> um, my yes, those are my words. Thank you, Noah, for correcting. It's always good for a ten-year-old to correct their parents. Dagger eyes. <laughs> All right, I, I think I can officially say. I'm. Ow. Ooh, sorry. Kill me. I'm done. You hurt my earballs again. <laughs> oh my gracious! Ear balls. Mm-hmm. Ear balls. That's it's a thing. Aren't they called ear drums? Ear balls. Ear buds. Ear balls. I'm thinking she's she's referring to the balls of wax. Right. <laughs> that's that's what it is. I think it's from a TV show or something. Honestly, one of the cows told me. I forget which one. I'll have to go look it up again because I forgot the reference because my brain dumped it because there was other things it needed to think about. So, I think I'm I'm done also. We, we do hope that this was an informative update and I don't know. Did we really plan anything other than dinners and stuff? Oh, finances. We're going to have to, oh, and I was going to say that once we are finished with the renovation, I'd like to give the YouTubes 
and the podcast a rundown of our budget and how we finagled our money to be able to afford this and how we cut some costs and expenses and you have to stop wiggling (laughs) how we did the whole finagling of finances to make this a budget friendly renovation right (laughs) yup That's the most you're going to get out of me. I already said I was done. <laughs> he's refusing to respond because he's done. Yup. <laughs> America. Oh my gosh. You said more than yup. That's it. You're not done. We got to start all over again. It's the 4th of July. I have to say it. <laughs> America. 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 Very good. All right. I do believe that I am done also. Noah, are you done? I just got here, so no. (laughs) He's only just begun. There you go. Song reference. All right. Now we can be done. (laughs) Thank y'all so much for joining us on this episode of the podcast. We hope that you will join us next week on our next episode where we'll We'll figure figure it out. out. (laughs) All right, guys, have a great day.